What a great group here. This is a mighty force. Fawn Sharp, Sharp is so right uh, to talk about the strength we have. What we're looking at, what you're looking at, that's Marvel. That's our best. What we're looking at is power. What we're looking at ourselves, that's the power. That's the strength that Leonard drew on when he was in prison and they were trying to break his spirit. Is this better? Yes. Thanks, Susan. Thank you. When they were trying to break his spirit when he was in prison for a long time, not as long as now, but for a long time, he decided he wanted to be an artist. And he didn't know how to go about it. And a mutual friend, David Bradley, from White Earth Chippewa, White Earth Ojibwe, said, I can give him some pointers over the phone. So he did. And that's how Leonard learned to paint, was over the phone, talking to an artist who was, as a professional artist, of, uh, was, was telling him how you go about painting. Here are some things you can do. And he got better and better and better. And that kind of spirit is pretty amazing. And the things that he painted were, um, were pictures of people he wanted to go home to, or people he had never met but who reminded him of his people. He is one of our people. He's my brother. He is our collective elder and friend. And we need to do everything in our power, in our way, that will get him out of prison now. While he's still living now. I asked him what would be the first thing he wanted to do. And this was a long time ago. What's the thing you want to do when you get out of prison? And he said, I just want to look at the sky. Help him look at the sky. Right. Yeah. That's what we need to do. We need to pray. We need to send him as much of our strength as we can. We have to think of him as an elder and not a cause, as a brother and not a cause, as an uncle, as a grandfather and not a cause. He's not our cause. He's our relative. And we need to find everyone who, can, who has compassion in their hearts, such as the man who lives in this beautiful marble palace, to let him go, to free Leonard Peltier and free him now. He has lost the sight in one eye. He. Uh, like me, uh, doesn't walk so well. He um, has all of the problems associated with our age. When you are just within reach of 80, you suddenly start feeling lighter because things drop off you. <laughs> you lose part of yourself, but you gain strength internally. And that's what we see in Leonard He's going to sustain us, but we have to sustain him. And part of it is making ourselves strong, as strong as we can, and sending him our strength. He loves you. I love you dearly. And be strong, be good. Free Leonard Peltier, good Mr. Biden. Oh, 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 oh. That's right. Thank you very much.